All right, my friends, it is finally time to do the site footer. Now, the footer element, uh, the footer tag, semantic tag, is much like the header. Multiple things can have a footer, but we talked in the header lesson about the value that that brings, you know, how much measurable value does that really provide you? But we do absolutely know that the website itself needs a footer. And so that is what we are going to build. And check this out. This is the footer we're going to construct. And this is going to be fantastic because it's going to give us an opportunity, my friends, to review. We're going to go all the way through structure again as we do this. And this time we're going to add semantics at the same time. Now, you're going to notice that as you get better, you improve in your ability and skill, you are going to start to blend structure and semantics together. So you're able to do semantics as you do structure. That is very, very common. Again, I would try to separate and not do much with selectors and styling while you're doing structure and semantics, but structure and semantics often go hand in hand. And that's what you're going to start to see as more complex things come to life and as we get deeper and deeper into this course. So the first thing I'm gonna do, what is the first step? You're met with a blank canvas. Well, first of all, let's go into Etch. You need to be in Etch. You need to be able to follow along and you need to be in the index template again. So go to templates, click edit on index so that you can get back here where we did our header and our main. And basically what we need to create is a sandwich. So the header is the top piece of bread. The footer is the bottom piece of bread. The main is the meat that's right there in the middle. So I need to add a footer down here, okay? And the way that I'm gonna do that is if I have something selected, I can hit escape and now I have nothing selected. Therefore, anything I add will come last. If I have my main selected, I could always hold command and I could hit the next element uh, which is going to, or control if you're on PC, whatever, right? Which is going to make it a sibling, okay? And not a child. So I'm gonna hold command and hit div and it will make it a sibling, which will put it at the bottom. And I'm gonna label this footer and I'm gonna give it the semantic footer tag. Notice there's no footer element, why? Because you don't use them that often. And if you know you need one, you already know how to make one, right? So we don't need elements. We don't need clicky, clicky buttons for everything under the sun. Okay, so we got a footer right here. I am gonna label a little bit in this one because this is a little bit more complex of a structure. Um, and then of course we've got our semantics. So labeling is going to be a little bit helpful here. Okay, so I've got my footer. The next thing I need, we gotta go back to visualization. We have to be able to see in boxes. We just did our footer. Okay, that's that main box is the footer. Now I see a thing that goes edge to edge here and I see another group. Now this group doesn't go edge to edge, but I kind of need these groups to behave like sections. They're going to need to have a gutter and they're gonna need to have some semblance of block padding, okay? So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna end my visualization, come back over, in my footer, I'm gonna go, Div, div, and that's gonna be the two boxes. And look what I'm gonna call these. Look how easy this is, okay? You don't have to go crazy. As long as it's sensical, we can we can do it. It's, there's no hard and fast rules with naming. And I didn't wanna get too deep into naming because that's gonna bring us into how we're gonna do selectors and all this other stuff. And we may end up tweaking these names later, okay? I'm just naming them for a little bit of semblance of organization right now. Let's go back to our visualization. Okay, so I got my big two boxes. Now what I need is a containment context for in here. I don't know why my boxes stopped being, I, I like the multicolor boxes. Where'd our multicolor boxes go? I'm having to be like educator and producer at the same time and it's not working out well, I'll be honest with you. All right, so two containment boxes. I know, I know how to do those. All right, let's hide this. Let's go back and we need this container element right here. This container element, by its nature of being in an environment called Etch and uh, automatic CSS, right? It's content width is controlled. It's tokenized, it's controlled. So whenever I need content width, I'm gonna be using this container element, okay? So what I'm gonna do is inside of my top, we're gonna have a container. And inside of my bottom, we're gonna have a container. And then this is gonna be the top inner, and this is gonna be the bottom inner. Okay, and I use the word inner a lot for this type of context. And then you're, you're gonna notice in naming conventions where we're doing a lot inside of one parent object, it helps to repeat some of these words 
uh, more than once. So when I have a top and I have something inside of it that's just a wrapper, right? Um, I just repeat the word top. So this is top and top inner, bottom and bottom inner. And that makes it very clear what these elements belong to. Just by reading the labels, you understand a little bit about the relationships. And that's very important in your naming. Okay, the next thing I need to do, let's hop back over, see what other boxes we need, right? I know for sure there's a box right here for the content wrapper. And then this is going to be a nav, our footer navigation. So I need a generic box, that's a div, and I need a nav for over here. All right, let's get this out of the way. Let's hop back over inside this top inner. I'm gonna go two divs, why? Well, we don't have a nav element. Don't have a nav element. You know you know, you need one though, right? So you, you must know how to make one. So this, we're just gonna call nav and double click here and just make it a nav and poof, like magic. You have a nav element, all right? No drama. Didn't need a clicky clicky button for that. So here we're gonna call this content wrapper, all right? And then I just know from memory inside of our content wrapper, do you know? Do you know, pop quiz, what, what goes in there? It was a logo, so I'm gonna hit SVG. It was a paragraph, so I'm gonna hit text, and it was a link, so I'm gonna click link. And we're gonna call this logo, all right? We can even call this footer logo, but that's probably gonna be redundant, so we can just say logo. And this is going to be, I, I call these leads or descriptions or whatever. We can use the word description. Lead like L-E-D-E, -E, like in journalism, you know, I use that a lot. And then this is going to be a CTA, okay? Like our call to action link. Um, so now I've got some good naming going here in my content wrapper. Let's go ahead and tackle the nav. Hop back over here and oh my word, what do we need to do here? Well, we obviously are going to need three columns. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go div, div, div. Divs can be children of a nav. And each of these divs is going to have a heading inside of it. So I'm gonna go div, 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 heading, 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 except I'm gonna refer to my experience in web development life. And I'm going to give you a trick of the trade, a pro tip, if you will, okay? When you have three identical, identically structured things, just build one of them and then duplicate it. Don't put three and then, so don't go work, 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 because we're gonna have to do things inside. That, was that like Rihanna? Was I just like, did I just... Did I just Rihanna that? Work, 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 work. It's me. Okay, I don't know if I Rihanna that or not. All right, I might get, this might get copyright strike. I don't know. YouTube's very sensitive. YouTube is very sensitive. So as I was saying, you don't wanna go like do a little work here, a little work here, a little work here, a little work here, a little work here. Like you're just repeating yourself. That's so inefficient. Build one of these structures and then just duplicate it two more times and you're good to go. So that's what we're gonna do. All right, we're gonna be over here uh, in my nav. I'm gonna go div. That's just, we just need one column and I'm gonna call this a nav column. And then I'm gonna put a heading inside of that nav column. And I'm gonna say nav column heading. Notice I'm repeating my words over and over again. Uh, this is typically a good approach to creating relationships in your naming. All right, so next thing I'm gonna see is that what's going on with this link situation? That, remember, there's invisible boxes you can't see. And this is what takes practice. And this is what takes a little bit of study. And this is what takes uh, just doing courses like this and maybe watching this video a couple times and doing this manually a couple times, okay? This needs to be an unordered list with a list item and an, and an anchor link. That is the real structure that needs to happen here. All right, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna say that underneath this nav column heading is going to be a div. Remember, we don't have, there's no list elements. There's no list uh, li elements. Now you could use the right click, create, convert to list, whatever, okay? Um, but I'm just gonna do this one at a time because it's not that big of a deal. So I'm gonna say this is an unordered list and I'm gonna say that this is a nav list. And then I'm gonna put a div inside of it and I'm gonna say that this is a nav list item. And that is going to be an li. And then I'm going to drop a link 
inside. Oh, I hit text. I don't want to hit text. I want to hit link, put link inside of there. And this is going to be a nav link. So if I, and by the way, you can get more real estate at any time just by dragging that panel out a little bit. So you see, I have a nav. I have a nav column, open a nav column. I have a nav column heading. I have a nav list. I have a nav list item and I have a nav link. And that is a ULLIA structure. Once I have verified, notice I'm doing structure and semantics kind of at the same time. They're blending together now, right? So now that I verified, I like that column. I like that structure. I think I'm good to go. I'm gonna go duplicate, duplicate. And now I have my three columns. I did the work once, right? I didn't have to Rihanna it. Let's just say that. I didn't have to Rihanna it. Work, 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 work. I just did the work. That's it. And then I duplicated. Okay. All right. So here we go. Nav column, nav column. I mean, this is beautiful. Nav, nav column, column, column. Open it up. Heading, list, list item, link. I love it. Now, remember, there's more than one nav on the site. We got to label these navigations, okay? So I'm going to hit command enter on that nav and I'm going to go aria label equals and I'm just going to use the word footer. Why not footer nav pop quiz class? Because it's already a nav. It's already a nav. You don't have to repeat the name of the element. It already is going to know that it's a nav. It's going to announce it as footer navigation or navigation footer or whatever, okay? All right, perfect. So Let's go back. Where's our visualization? Guys, we're done with this. I mean, this this top part, we are done with the top part. We just got to do the bottom part now. So we're going to put a paragraph and a paragraph in here. One paragraph for the copyright notice, one paragraph for the site name. Easy, easy, light work. This is light work in the bottom inner, okay? Text, text, paragraph, paragraph. We'll call this copyright and we'll call this uh, site identity. Site identity, okay? Copyright, site identity. We're doing a little bit of naming. Of course, we're not able to style yet because we haven't learned about selectors. We haven't learned about styling. But my friends, we just made a footer. Let's go to the front end and marvel at our work. Let's inspect. Let's go find our foot. Look at this structure right here, okay? Remember the admin bar is just there because I'm logged in. That's not normally there. You got a body. Inside your body, you got a header. You got a main. You got a footer. I'm going to open that up. You have a containment context that's going to act kind of like a section. And then you're going to have a container inside of that that's going to contain to the site width. And then you're going to have a content group inside of that, which is a logo and a paragraph and a link. And then we're going to open this, our nav with our, with our three columns, our H2, our unordered list, our list item, and our A, clean as an absolute whistle. Here's the bottom group down here with the container inside, a P and a P. And I can go down here and I can just put in copyright 2026. And then I'm going to say um, Bali travel site. I don't know. I, I don't know where we got into the Bali theme, uh, but but that's what we're doing. Now, um, this obviously we don't want to be static. We would want this to be dynamic. Can we dynamically pull the year? Can we dynamically pull the identity of the website? Of course we can. Of course we can. That's going to come when we talk about systems, S5, but we are stuck right here in S2, okay? We have got to graduate out of S2, and we're almost there. We got a couple more semantics, things to talk about, and then we are going to get right into selectors. I hope you guys are having fun. Drop a comment, drop a like, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. The idea that some of you are watching this series and you still haven't even subscribed to the channel, beyond me, beyond me. Uh, you got to hit the subscribe button. You got to hit the like button. Find the share button every once in a while, okay? Every once in a while, maybe like every five, six videos. See if you can find the share button, all right? I know some of you are like Ray Charles out here with the share button. Find the share button every once in a while. It doesn't hurt you to hit it, okay? All right, I love you guys. You're doing fantastic. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm enjoying myself. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Let's keep working together.